Bugden York. I'm here with uh, Matt Dowdy of O'Neill Designs and the Glios Line and a whole bunch of other collaborative projects. And uh, it's a pleasure to finally, well, I finally met you two days ago. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in a recorded fashion, sir. Nice to meet you too, man. Uh, so New York Comic Con, as I understand, is kind of like your guys' uh, sort of home convention in a way? Yeah, well, I, we hope it will go on to be our home convention. We've decided to kind of move away from San Diego Comic Con, which was great to us for many years. But New York's closer to home. We're right outside of Boston. And it's just, it's just a nice concentration of great artists and, and people who are kind of into the same stuff. So we really have had a great show as well. This, is the, this looks like it's going to be the future sort of launching pad for different things for us as a company and also just personal. I really like the way you had a setup going there with um, rotating uh, artists getting to show their stuff and, uh, and showcase their things on your guys' uh, shared table space with um, the... Uh, well, the, oh. car, the uh, sidekick media. Sidekick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sidekick. The, the, the I almost said suck packs media. <laughs> well, it may as well be Morgan runs solid. the world. <laughs> so, uh, the, with all the artists you're working with there, now, a lot, like a lot of them, you know, it's it's folks who have taken the the Glios uh, system that that uh, that started a couple years back, yeah. and they're kind of coming up with their own twists on it, their own additions to it. Yeah. And uh, I got to say, I really ap appreciate your attitude towards folks working with the stuff you you sort of set the base work for it's yeah. it's great to see encouragement rather than you know oh what are you doing with, with what i did you know uh, i mean the, the best things come from collaboration and this line you know, i may have started up in our you know hometown and with us but the line belongs to anybody who wants to get involved in it i think all art you know, and music and anything writing whatever it is it's the best when different people take a shot at it you don't want to just eat a cheeseburger every single day of your life you know it's I, what everybody's doing at that table elevates my creativity as well. I see what they're doing and I'm, I feel psyched that I, it's still relevant, at least in some way, beyond anything I could have ever thought of or dreamed of. You know, the, the stuff on that table is a lot cooler than the shit I make. You know? So I, I don't mind just building something that someone can build off of. It's more interesting to me at this point. I still like to do my little knickknacks and doodles and whatnot, but that's the best part of these shows and, and getting to meet people that come in and see it they may be introduced to Glios and have never met me or even seen the original line, but eventually it sort of circles back and we all, you know, enjoy it together. And I've, I've seen, like, um, you know, through, through the dude who, who introduced me to this stuff, uh, nice stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, he's, he's starting to do a production on his own... Uh, oh, yeah. We almost got hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's starting to do production on his own line, The Anomalies. Yes. And, uh, I think that's one of the best examples of, of the great community that's been fostered around this thing. Is you know, you, uh, coming up with collaborative projects, you know, offshoot projects, eventually moving on to trying your own original project. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see. Uh, uh, Ni is a is a really great guy. He's an incredible talent. Um, he's extremely dedicated, and I I respect all those things about him. He's got a very supportive uh, family and a great great girl, and they they do amazing work together. And when I saw his original work, it really resonated with me. Kind of on a personal level, there was a lot of similarities with the way that we developed line work and sculpted, just a more kind of out there approach. And as we got to know each other over the last couple years, I saw that you know, this was a kid that really, really wanted this. So as time progressed and he just stayed consistent, he was ready to go. And he, you know, he came up to the house a bunch of times and we, you know, we always have a good time up there. And when he was finally ready, he went for it and he didn't hold back and now he's got production figures and it's a whole different thing it's sort of like you know we all share some kind of dna and these little guys are sort of born from a friendship and sharing and not being an asshole in general you know and i like that kind of thing i hope it happens more and more not just with what we're doing but with other companies and other artists as well that's that's the best thing that's what makes sense that's how you grow Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, like I said, just to see uh, this level of, of completely positive collaboration and fostering of, you know, do what you want, and you know, you try it out for the first time, it looks pretty cool, you know, like, yeah. like you, you, Matt Dowdy totally did that to me. I show him like, look, I built a guy whose legs turn into wheels, and <laughs> he started like, that's pretty cool looking. I was like, thank you. <laughs> well, I see it was a super build, man, and I mean, I I look at that stuff and it's, it it brings excitement. It's for to everybody, you know. I like to see people doing things, you know, making things, creating things. What's better than that as an artist to share those things? And you just can't. You can't become possessive and precious about the things that you make. It's your kind of duty to share them. Why else are we here? Absolutely. 
Um, and mo moving to just like the, the more product oriented side of things yeah. uh, to get you know to the end of this one. Um, you, 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 at conventions, you, you do a great thing, which is the, uh, the quote unquote convention exclusive of yeah. I'm releasing something next week, but here's some of it right now, <laughs> which I love. It, I think it's the best <laughs> approach because it, it means that coming to the show is something special yeah. and you're not left out if you don't come to the show. Yeah. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of new glands there, a bunch of really great colorways going on. Oh, thanks. But uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool looking stuff. And, and for me, it's great because I got into this right after the mono wave. So oh, yeah. the majority of my collection was black, white, and gray. <laughs> black, so white, yeah. I suddenly got all these colors showing up and it's, it's great. Oh, um, the, the big thing that a lot of us looked at though was the big rig. Oh yeah, and, the uh, big rig. Have you, got, have you got anything you can share about the, the, the nature of how that came about yet? Uh, or? Well, the, the rig's a funny thing because originally I was working on this thing called the King Crayboth, and then I was, I was up at the shop, I was there, you know, just got there for like a, about a three, four day stint, it's usually what happens, and this, the rig just kind of shot into my head. I, you know, really wanted to make some sort of ship, and then it just decided that was the time. And then from that point on, you know, decided to kind of push the mechanical aspect of the vinyl versus you know the more I don't know biological sort of Armadoc vibe so we yeah. made the wing and then we did this and that but once once we got a little bit farther with it we meaning Mark and me and whoever else is up there you know in the shop at the time might be Phil Reed who helped fund the rig wing um, we I tinkered with the parts and built that thing one night I just had some extra parts because there were some <laughs> You know, runoff, and I just cut some holes, and a couple little indicators were there already. And once I made it, I usually I don't like to sell really ex what I consider expensive things. Is it's the most expensive thing we'll be selling. But I said, what the hell? You know, like let's just try it, see how it goes. And the response seems okay. We'll see how it goes at the end of the week. It, it definitely speaks to a lot of the Transformers fans I speak to because it's it's yeah. got that extra the push. Oh, the jet fire thing. Yeah. Sure. But it's got that extra push. The, I mean, the rig. The rig, to me, part of its charm is the whole thing of you, you twist the parts however you want, yeah. set it down however a you want. A perception transformer. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like the big rig, it's almost like the perception transformer with the safety wheels on, where it's like, <laughs> yeah. okay, just in case you can't quite get into the rig, here's one with like <laughs> yeah. eight more moving parts, and it's twice as big, and now it's like, okay, if you don't want to imagine their feet, slot some feet into place. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, and, and, maybe that's a funny way of putting it, man, because I, I, I like that. You know, yeah, it's, it's got it, training wheels on. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm glad you like it. And I, I, the, the size of the thing alone. Yeah, it's a is, meatball, isn't it? It's so, just holding that is so satisfying. Like, yeah. I just want to, like, you know, carry it around like a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark actually, he kind of said it reminded him of the the big old vinyl Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah, Like, it's yeah. got, it's just very meaty. And when the vinyl, since it's hollow, when you pick it up, it's got, the weight doesn't, like, make sense right away because it's so light. But it's got space, and it, it, you know, it's it's a strange thing that happens. Vinyl's a really weird thing, yeah, you know, yeah. but I do like pushing a slight mechanical bent to it and more moving parts. It's just it, it's it's just like I don't know. It's it's, it's a unique aspect to it that's different than PVC, which I kind of like to explore. Uh, I agree. I agree that uh, you know vinyl. It's really interesting, and, and the approach you have on it, to me, is very interesting because I'm, I'm coming at uh, designer toys from a very outside perspective over the last few months. It's thanks primarily to, to your stuff and uh, a little bit to 3A stuff. Oh, 3A, I'm, I'm, 3A stuff is just awesome. I mean, they, they're yeah, geniuses. Th yeah. Those things are kind of what got me looking at this again because I, I appreciate designer toys, but to see designer toys that value like the, the toy over the designer, sort of, like the, the, they, they, are, they are still playable. Yeah, it's uh, a real it's, toy. You know? Yeah, it's... it's it's the, there's so many guys out there that you know are really pushing the, the envelope. I mean, the stuff at 3A is like that's just a whole nother level. I mean, they're taking it to another level. It's art meets you know engineering meets the designer aspect. You know, it's it's really beautiful stuff. I mean, I've handled some of it and it's it's exquisite. You know, and then I see the stuff that the guys over in Japan are doing with assemble board. Oh we, yeah, 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 and like we <laughs> saw Naito san and Jiguchi over there and. That, that those are beautiful pieces that are made with passion, and the, and the engineering is there, technology is there, but they're just they're just fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> straight up, and that's it. And and they're functional. They're, they're sort of smaller runs, but the people behind them are are visible, and I think that's a big part of it. Oh, absolutely. And uh, just with this stuff, you know, it just to me, it's, it's opened my eyes to designer toys. And it's, it, it, I was telling someone the other day that uh, primarily due to the like you know visiting your booth and meeting a lot of these folks face to face, it's it's really made me realize 
how being able to make your own toy line, it really is just about making the toys that you want to make. Yes. And, yeah. and I think that's so cool. Yeah. Make that, what you want, and then if it works out, you know, for the general population, then you're lucky, and that's a fortunate thing. But you have to love it. If you yeah. don't love it, don't do it in anything. You know, taking out the trash, you might not love it, right? That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't take out the trash, your house will stink. You know, that's the way it goes. When it comes to art, music, writing, philosophy, friendship, anything, you gotta do it because you love it. And, yeah. it. and the rest will follow. It's, it, you know, it's pretty simple. It might take forever. But if you love it, something will happen, at least for you inside. Oh, very excellent words, in my opinion. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, well, thanks very much for the interview, man. I don't want to take too much more of your time. We're, we're hitting the end of Comic-Con here. Yeah. You guys got a booth to break down. But, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been getting into Glaz over the last few months and meeting a lot of you guys face-to-face. -face. It's really just sealed the deal for me on <laughs> the community feeling of this. You know? uh, it, it's, it's, it's great it's, to see you and meet you in person. Man. Oh, likewise, man. It, it's, yeah. it's been a great time. We're shaking hands yeah, yeah. For, for all you listeners <laughs> at home. Um, you know, if you haven't checked out Glyos, you know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to tell you, you know, go and buy all the Glyos right now. But give it a chance. Check it out. Uh, if you're in the States, order a figure and some Axis joints and, and play around with it. There's so much in there for everybody right now with, with all the new pieces coming out. And I'm looking at the wall like it's a person. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it, it's the something that's really, the really con, This is what out. happens. Everybody's I'm, fried. I'm looking at this direct broom here, and I'm like, yo, listen, restaurateur. Yeah, check out Glyos. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Anyway, uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, if, if, if you need to know more about Glios, you know, there's a lot of websites. Phil Reads, Battlegrip.com has a Glios week that did so much to explain so much of, of the concept. Thank God Phil Reed. That's all I got to say. Phil Reed, dude, I met Phil Reed at PAX. Yeah. I walk into Steve Jackson Games. He says he's working the booth. I thought, oh, he's going to be selling stuff. He's like, yo, what's up? I'm Phil Reed. He's my car. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's a super, super, super guy. We, so we, nice. Yeah, he's yeah. a special dude. And, you know, he means what he says and he'll back stuff and he doesn't ever look for anything in return. He's a, it's a rare bird. So, man. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a pleasure to meet him at PAX. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's folks like him and, and, and nice stuff. And then, you know, meeting you and Jesse and whatnot. And then, oh, uh, Jesse, Jesse's, the, you know, what can I say about Jesse? He's my, he's like, him and Mark are like, you know, my brothers, my family. And if you, you got to check out Colgram.com. Oh, absolutely. Because that's absolutely. like the badass of Lyles. And that's where the cool <laughs> shit happens. You know, like, we're, we're like, you know, We'll serve you your turkey at Thanksgiving. Jesse will take you to the strip club. <laughs> and uh, just, I'll finish off my shouts out of who I talked to. Boglin Creations and Marty the God Beast are cool dudes too. Awesome guys. Uh, Best. I, I'm sure I missed a few other ones that I didn't There's see. There's a ton of them. Marty is an incredible dude. He's got a 1980s villain mustache, the God Beast, you know. <laughs> and he's a fantastic guy. And Chris, the Boglin Creations, he is just a pushed his creativity in the past year and a half unbelievable new places and he's doing unique things and he's just an incredibly nice very honest straightforward person so i mean we're lucky as hell that's all i can say to, and to know these guys and that they even give a shit about any of this is an amazing thing for us well it's, it's been great talking to you it's uh it's such a pleasure to talk to you about this stuff because uh, i like talking to you too <laughs> I, I like talking to you more uh oh. <laughs> Turn that shit off. <laughs> All right. Uh, New York Comic Con, ladies and gentlemen. There's a cookie monster hat on the floor. What is going on? Bye bye. <laughs>